Hey guys, this is going to be part one golf cart plastic repair. I'm going to use some 3M products. I do not endorse or work for 3M, uh, but this stuff actually works really good. And if a product works, I, I'll use it. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit noisy in here tonight, guys. My uh, electric um, heater took a shit. So I am going, um, doing it pisser style, and it's working well. I just gotta watch, I don't fixate myself, but uh, we'll give you a quick lowdown here. If you guys haven't seen this, I have these dirty, grungy, gross golf cart parts for a six passenger, easy go gas engine cart. Uh, obviously they need to be cleaned. Uh, just for this first part, this first segment, I'm just gonna take you through the first part of this hood. Uh, this is the back side of the hood. Somebody had some lights mounted on here and holes drilled here, there, and everywhere that do not need to be there. So what we're doing here, this is actually a patch kit that 3M makes. It almost feels like uh, rubber, but it's completely self-adhesive on the back, just like the double side tape. Uh, here is the uh, part number. Easy fix, flexible patch. Uh, this stuff is not cheap, but there are, I think, six or six in this box. Uh, then we're going to follow that up with uh, this, this material here, rigid parts repair. And then uh, we're also going to be using, this is the adhesion promoter for the outer part. This is the adhesion promoter for the inner repair, for the patch. This goes with the patch. So what you do here is you clean it really thoroughly. Uh, I take a 50 grit roll-off disc on a grinder such as this and very slowly grind any high spots off. Obviously the, because these holes are drilled there was you know slag and stuff hanging on this side. So you take that 50 grit, you knock it all down, I go over it with 80 grit on a DA and then 180 on a DA, clean it, blow it off really well you cut your patches bam bam and so on this is all clean and ready to go my next my first step is actually going to be put on this adhesion promoter this 94 primer you brush that on let it sit for five minutes and you put these patches on press them in really good with like a hammer handle or a screwdriver handle let them sit you can flip this part over and then you can go ahead and do your front side repair this stuff works slick because it's instant. As soon as that patch is, is on there, you don't have to wait. You can go ahead and do your repair on the other side, which I will show you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this back side done. This is basically like putting stickers on, guys. This is not a, not a real big deal. So I will set up a tripod, and I will show you the front side repair on this. Um, kind of excited about this. I looked on YouTube, and I didn't find anything, absolutely anything, on golf cart plastic repair. Um, there's other plastic repairs out there, usually by product manufacturers like 3M and SEM and Lord Fuser. Um, nothing on golf carts. These plastic parts, I kind of, I don't even know exactly what kind of plastic they are, guys. I really don't. Um, they're not really an SMC. They're not really a fiberglass. They're probably some kind of an olefin plastic. Um, I used this same exact repair process and materials on a 95 Firebird front fender and uh, it worked flawlessly. It worked so good. Um, and from what I can tell on this plastic, and I could be wrong, this is a very similar plastic. So I'm going to give it a shot. No guarantees this is going to work, um, but I, I really believe it's going to. I did not go with the flexible parts repair material because... Um, even though these are not actually rigid like solid like fiberglass, I do not consider them to be flexible, and I put that in quotations, flexible. Um, so I'm going to try it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and you guys will all see it. But uh, this repair material is not ex not cheap. I mean, this, uh, this stuff right here, guys, is like 60 bucks for that tube. I think this box is like 50. I don't remember what this stuff is, but... Uh, it lasts a long time. This tube should be plenty to do this repair. I uh, also have uh, this rear part that's busted in a really, really ugly spot. As you can see, I'm going to fix that. 
and you guys are going to see how. Um, obviously these parts are grungier than shit. This thing was laying in the woods for who knows how many years. Uh, and it's going to be new again. And uh, I'm excited to start the series on this, starting with this one, number one. It's kind of an intro. We're going to call it number one intro. And um, I hope this all works, and I hope you guys get something out of it. Because you know what? Golf carts are huge right now. They have been for several years. All my neighbors got them. Uh, this will be the third... This will be the third golf cart that I have done. Um, the other ones were not busted up quite like this. So it was just basically a scuff and shoot and whatever. But uh, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this part of it done and bring it back to so, show you the end result. And we'll start that, two, that front side repair with tripod. See you in a little bit.